Okay, so for today, I'm going to show you a little bit about outside cooking uh, on my bus, uh, which I call Blondie. And um, those of you who've seen the boat know that I like the barbecue and I had a big barbecue grill built upstairs. Uh, and here I on, on the bus, I, I had a little bit of a different uh, scenario and I wanted to put an outdoor barbecue. And uh, so what I did is you'll see right down here, there are two storage uh, bins, uh, what we call the basement. And these bins go all the way through the bus from one side to the other and have a lot of storage space in place. So, I'll let you take a look inside. So here is the inside of the storage space with a bunch of storage in it and a bunch of stuff. And you see I've got tools and supplies and stuff that I've put in there. Um, the bins are air conditioned uh, so everything stays uh, fairly cool in the summer and above freezing in the winter. But it's the second one here that I want to show you that's most interesting. So here uh, are two slide outs and originally this slide out here when the bus was built I need two hands for this. Excuse me. Here we go. Originally, there was a TV stand here and a few other things, and I've essentially turned it into a mini bar, or at least a place to store liquids. And here are dry goods that have been eaten up by mice, rats, roaches, whatever. A little uh, cocktail bar there. Some uh, some other stuff. And you see there's a, a little uh, uh, heating uh, grill there and a crock pot. And you can see, if we look in here, that there are uh, AC outlets that I can plug in the crock pot. Uh, I have a ultrasonic pest deterrent plugged in there right now uh, to deter mice, rats, squirrels or whatever else wants to try and get in there. Now, on the second one here, this is a much larger one, and here is where I set up a cooking station. And rather than have, I bought this Blackstone, it's called a tailgater grill. It wasn't expensive as far as barbecue pits go. In fact, it was probably less expensive than most. I bought it on sale at Camper World. Uh, I think the regular price was $225. It was on sale for $175. I got another 10% off. Uh, anyway, um, so you know, I, for $150 or so plus tax, I bought this grill. Now, what I did is I built this shelf unit below it. You see, it has legs here. You can take this out and stand it independently. But the thing's heavy, and I didn't want to pull it out and put it in every time uh, I, I set up a camp somewhere. So I put it on the roller here, where I could roll it out, and uh, I could really just sit on my little uh, camper's chair and cook. The rest of this uh, roller, you can see, is with tools and storage, and it goes way back in there. You can see a water pressure unit that I took off my boat, some soups, bladder, some other stuff. Anyway, uh, the front section, which is this section here, I, I built strictly as a cooking station. And as a cooking station, it's working out pretty well. You can see that's why the uh, tanks are here. I have two. I have a 20 gallon and a 10 gallon. And so they're all, I, I never really run out. And I built this section here out of MDF. And I put 
places for my tools over here this goes to the gas and we can get some there's my lighter some stuff there you can see I've got my Zatarans I feel the spices there and a few more spices over here along with bottles of water olive oil and uh, veg oil this one's particular that, that's peanut oil uh, cooking on here is a magic first of all you've got this griddle which I can cook just about anything on and it's got a drain along the edge here so any grease comes along goes through this little hole and drops into this grease trap catching it all keeps it nice and clean you can see there's a little bit in there where I need to clean it up on the other side we have a grill just a standard barbecue grill um, where I can barbecue and, and do grilling now the interesting thing about this unit is that this griddle or this unit comes off or both of them come off for that matter under this one is an H burner it's shaped kind of like that under this one is a circular burner um, if you take this one off the grill you could put a big stock pot on here and boil up a mess of crawfish or a seafood boil or something like that and the same with the other one uh, whichever you please so you can actually always have two types of cooking going at the same time and I never have to lift it and carry it and move it all I got to do is take the hose hook it to the tank and I'm ready to go so that's my barbecue setup on Blondie I'm gonna let you go step out a little bit more and that's what it looks like There you go.